Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Eosheen Diatone R349. Thankfully, the only thing Eosheen have actually done to this is put their name on the top, so they haven't had the sticky little fingers over, over it and managed to destroy what is a brilliant quad. Let's have a look at it on the bench. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So as you see from the intro, this is what we've got. This is a Diatone. R349 or Eosheen Diatone. So if you look at the top, it says Eosheen on here and it has some very pointless lights in here. That's the only difference, and of course, on this version, it is more money because you get the TBS Unify BTX, which lasted 10 minutes. So I no longer have the TBS Unify BTX on it, lasted 10 minutes. It's the second one of these things I've had go down, so I don't really see why I had it on anyway. A bit pointless on something this size but anyway that's gone i bought it from banggood so i was going to get no kind of joy if i was trying to return it or anything so i just bought the run cam uh, vtx which would come with this normally so this in essence is now an r349 with some lights on the top so as you can see it's a really nice finished off piece of kit i'm running this up on a 4s6 i think it's a 6500 yeah, 4S 6500, gives me like three and a half minutes flight time. This thing is remarkably quick. Uh, and I mean remarkably quick. And it really is a nicely finished off piece of kit. The frame's absolutely stunning. It's very smooth, proper polished off edges on the carbon. It comes with the Mamba stack in here. And it's got, as you can see, Mamba motors. We can look, these are 4000 KV 1408 motors. And it really is a nice thing. They also now do the R369, which is the 6S version of this. And the 4S is quick enough, so God only knows what that's like. Uh, I'm not going to fly this to anywhere near its capabilities, but if you look at Andy RC, he's done a video on this, and I think he got 120 or 112. So it might have been 112 miles per hour of it quite consistently on the battery. So. It really is an absolute fantastic. I love this thing. A lot of people are saying this is the best 3-inch bike. Certainly the best 3-inch I've ever flown. And probably will ever fly. I don't know how they're going to make this better. So yeah, this it comes with the Mamba stack. As I said before, it does come with TBS Unify. And the other problem it comes with is this uh, antenna, which is the actual one off the Unify, is just held on with a cable tie here. So if you want to do what I've done, you're going to have to drill a hole in the plastic at the back and bring the cable up. And the other thing is, it's really tight to get a receiver in here. I'm running this on a FlySky receiver, so I've mounted mine on the back. It's out of the way nicely enough. I'm only flying this very short range, so it doesn't really matter to me anyway. So the run cam camera is standard built into it. Absolutely love this camera. Colours pop. Everything looks really good. It's a joy to fly with. Right, it doesn't record. It's not like your typical thing. I was actually going to look at putting the Tazier in here, but I don't think it's going to fit. But I might put a Runcam Mini in it. Uh, there's a new Micro 3, actually. I might put the Micro 3 in here. I've got one of them on order. So I might stick one of that, that in here to have a go with. But it really is an absolute gorgeous thing. So easy to fly as well. It's not big. This is not a beginner's drone. Don't get me wrong. But you, you can fly this quite slowly. It's it'll just potter about if you want it to. If you want to fly it low throttle, but of course it comes alive when you're giving it full throttle. I really do like this thing. I'm very impressed with it. In the box you get this, and I think you get another set of props. So let me double check. Let me have a look. Let me pause it one second. Let me see where you. Okay, I'm back. I've got the box. This is the box it comes in. Very cheap, nasty box. Been battered about because it came from Banggood. You get a couple of straps with it. You get an XT30 to put on your battery if you need to do so. Some spare screws. And another set of props. Now I can't remember what size these are. I'll have it in the description of the quad. But these are a different size prop that it comes with. So you get a spare set of those. They're different than the ones that's on it at the minute. And that's about it. And some cable ties. Oh, and some diatone stickers. How could I forget? So that's all you get in the box. You don't get much with it. Obviously, it doesn't come. It's a plug and fly this, so you don't get a receiver. And as standard, the end it came, comes with this to fit an FASKY RSR, which I didn't have one handy, so I've put on a, this one on. I was going to put an XM Plus on it, but I had this handy, so I put it on. To test it because I wanted to have a go, I wanted to fly my Nirvana with this and obviously on the jumper which is what I've been flying everything on recently 
So that's what I wanted to do, so that's why I put the Fly Sky one on. Uh, so I've had a go with the Nirvana and this and it flies perfectly adequate on either. I think the jumper's fantastic, I still do. So that's what you get for your money. They're coming in about, I don't know, but at the time, I can't remember what the exact price is, around 135, 140 quid. As I checked this morning, and this is this morning, if you buy this quad from Unmount Tech in the UK, it's actually £4 cheaper than buying the equivalent on Banggood. That is not, sorry, this isn't the Yashin version because I don't really see the point in buying it. The TBS Unify is going to give you, it's going to make very little difference to what you need it for and it's more expensive, you may as well buy the normal version. So I'm comparing the R349 with the R349, not the Yashin version. And as we stand today, because Banggood's prices go up and down like a yo yo, it's actually cheaper in the UK. If you buy it from the UK, you're going to buy it from a company that's actually going to give you support and isn't going to tell you no, they're not doing anything about your return if it goes faulty. I might be having a dig at Banggood. Yeah, you're right. But they're not going to back you up. Whereas if you buy it from Mantec, I bought from them a lot of times. They're friendly, they're helpful. If you have a problem setting it up, just give them a call. They'll help you straight out on the phone. And as I say, it's £4 cheaper. And of course, the big advantage is you're going to get it in two days, not however long it takes for the ship to get here from China. Plane, ship, whatever it's come with. So yeah, I really do like it. I'm now obviously going to get some flight footage up for you, so I'm going to show you, show you a recorder from the GoPro and stuff so you can see what it's like flying line of sight. And then obviously I'll have some feed from the goggles so you can see um, what the VTX looks like. Uh, sorry, the OSD on the screen and stuff. So it does, it does actually come back. You're never going to get the as good a recording as what I can see on my FTX goggles. So I'm using the FTX and I'm always let down. The only thing that lets that uh, goggles down to me is the fact that the recording you get back to it is poor to say the least. I think it, it drops too many frames and stuff. But you're going to get a general idea. It does show you how the colours pop and this is the one good thing about this camera. The colours are great. So yeah, I highly rate this. Great 3 inch. A decent price I think for what it is, you'll just need to buy obviously a receiver for it and some lipos and you're going to need a few lipos because it really is that much fun to fly. Thanks ever so much for watching, enjoy the footage just coming up and have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.